hands, emphasize their slenderness, for I am told they are my best feature. Henceforth, when my people think of their queen, this is the image they must see. In her reply, the Queen of Scots writes mainly of her rescue. On the subject of assassination, she is more circumspect. Your proven knowledge might be hard to prove, sir. I heard tell when Her Majesty was to be sent to the tower by her sister. She wrote, begging her for mercy. In order that no incriminating postscript could later be added, she drew lines thus. Pity her cousin lacked such forethought. Take this down. I would be glad to know... Is this to be in, in her coded letter? Both the coded letter and the transcription, Master Philippus. I would be glad to know the names of the six gentlemen six who are to accomplish, accomplish the dispatch of the imposter queen. With such knowledge, I may advise them on how best to achieve their mission. As you see, her postscript is in response to Babington's letter. I took the precaution yesterday of ordering a search of her quarters in Derbyshire. Texts on cipher codes were secreted there. Also drafts of letters to her agents in Spain. There is no question of her culpability. Mr. Babington and his associates must be rounded up, brought to trial. And the Queen of Scots? If my cousin confesses her guilt, vows to put an end to her wretched plotting, she will yet be pardoned. The new statute of association dictates... There's claimant and chief conspirator. She, too, must be brought to trial. Your Majesty, that is the law now. How prescient you were in that legislation, Sir Francis. I see now I underestimated you in that regard. I will not make the same mistake again. My lords, you shall attend the proceedings on my behalf. Remember, the eyes of the world behold the actions of us princes. And judge us accordingly. Cousin. You have in various ways and means attempted to take my life and bring my kingdom to destruction by bloodshed. These treasons have been proved against Babington, and your fellow conspirators have been punished for their actions. It is my command that you answer the peers of my kingdom as if I myself were present. Act honestly, cousin, and you might yet obtain my favor. Thirty noblemen commissioners judges arrange thus. Oh, come on. That there signify the presence of the Queen, though absent. And the Queen of Scots. If, if we place her adjacent, that makes her an equal. She goes there, where we can read her face. <sighs> so, no, can you get this damn dog out of here? Leave chairs, here and here. I repudiate the legality of these proceedings against me. Like you, as a queen I am subject only to God's jurisdiction. The evidence against me is forgery. I know nothing of this man Babington, nor ever exchange letters with him. I declare, I would rather shipwreck my soul than seek your death. She is tireless in her wretched protestations of innocence. I fear she is intent on treating her trial as a theater, where she plays the innocent martyr unjustly accused by a heretic sister queen, thus hoping to inspire her Catholic supporters to rise against you. So destroy you after all. Your commissioners have reached a verdict, Your Majesty. The Queen of Scots is found guilty on the charge of treason and of conspiring in your assassination. As you know, the penalty for such an offence is... Death. Mortua non mordet. We two were milkmaids with pails upon our arms and this matter was just between us. 
Even knowing she had sought my death, I would never consent to hers. But as I carry the burden of my nation's welfare, I must demand her blood. Her co-conspirators were hung, drawn, and quartered, Your Grace. Anything less than her death will reek of nepotism. Or worse, a vengeful queen expunging a rival heir. And her execution could yet send a clarion call to Spain to make good death threat, send their armada against us. Be warned, cousin. One day, you will be held to account for your unjust treatment of me. For my blood and the misery I have endured at your hands will be remembered by every Catholic in your kingdom and in Europe. They will cross the water and avenge my death. The blood on your hands will stain your kingdom for centuries to come. Some other method be found. Poison. You think if your hand is unseen, God will be more lenient on you? My enemies might. Spain, to name but one. You make such a play that as queens, you and she are alike. But is it not in how you discharge that duty where the difference lies? She has always let her heart rule her head, put passion before politic need. If you shrink, before this duty now, Bess, then indeed you risk the accusation that you are alike. As a woman, you are just not equal to the task. Sign the death warrant. Galleons I counted. Like a vast floating city they were, in half-moon formation stretching near ten miles across. <laughs> 